I'm Roxy and today I'm gonna show you what's in my iPhone! <laughs> Okay, let's be serious now. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Roxy and in this video I'm gonna show you what's in my iPhone. This video was highly requested so I'm really happy to finally do it and post it. So first of all I have an iPhone 5S. Like this is the golden one on the back but I always, always, always have a cover. And this one is from Born Pretty Store, it's super cute, it has a little unicorn, so cute! And I also always use the anti-dust plug thing, this is a little cut, because one time having my phone in the bag some stuff got stuck inside this and it was crazy hard to remove, so from that day on never again without my little kitty. And now let's start with the first page on my iPhone. The first two lines have the default app, so messages, calendar, photos, camera, clock, map, settings, videos. Then we have our first folder and I don't like folders but this one came with the phone and I left it. And here I have the only five games in my phone. So there are also other apps that were already here, like Stocks, Game Center, Newsstand, never use them. But anyway, the first game is the Kardashian game, which is not the best game in the world, but it's entertaining, it's like Candy Crush. And it is a simulation game, you are a friend of Kim Kardashian and she will help you become famous, which is your goal. And that's it, you can date people, uh, work as a model, as an actor, do charity stuff and things like that. Then I have another game which is Heads Up from Ellen. I love this game especially for parties and stuff like that. You can choose you choose a category, for example Act It Out. You need another person to play with at least and one person acts out something and the other person has to guess so let's pretend that I am the one guessing so I would put this thing on my head wrong way so I'm, I cannot read this but you can read it right so you will read whatever is saying here making a phone call you're gonna act it out and I have to guess if I get it correctly I tilt it down if I wanna pass I go up perfect and we have like 40 seconds, 45 seconds or something to do as many as we can so we get it, we get it, we pass and stuff like that and in the meantime the app is filming you <laughs> so at the end of the game the app is gonna tell you how many we got and also you can click here watch the video and you can rewatch yourself <laughs> acting out all the things and it's really funny and then I have three otome games otome games are literally games for girls and they are story based games kind of a simulation game and usually the protagonist is a girl who has a goal for example to save the world or something like that and while you're doing this goal you have also another goal which is developing a romantic relationship with another character and you can choose between usually four or five male characters and based on your choices during the game the story changes and at the end of the game you might end up with the other character or not and also at the end you can start again and change your love interest and the story will change with it so it's fun Let's move on, then we have lifestyle, that I don't know why it's called lifestyle because we have the app store and the iTunes store, extras, not important, and then we have the communication apps, so we have WeChat, WhatsApp, FaceTime, I love WeChat, and then I have my Starbucks app, because I love Starbucks, and health, it came with the phone, and then I have Blogilatis, which is my app for working out, I love this one, it really motivates me and makes me stick to my working out schedule 
it has a calendar that you can follow every day it tells you what to do or you can just choose a video I want to focus on my apps and stuff like that then you have the forum where you can chat and share stuff or your experience with other people and then recipes healthy recipes so I really like this app then we have this page where I have all my social networks Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, Ask, Vine, Pinterest, Google Plus and my Facebook fan page all the links are in the description box and then I have my iBooks and FaceQ which is the app that makes these characters really popular right now and then we have the page with all the apps to edit my pictures and I'm sure this is the page that <laughs> you are most interested in in the first line I put all the apps that I use to edit my pictures I like Bintik because it creates those white bars on top and underneath the picture so for example let's take a picture so you can see how it works let's take a picture of my M Cosmetics mini palette okay we take a picture and then see it makes the two bars and then we have filters my favorite is Snowy and then you can save it on the phone or share it on Instagram Afterlight 2 has many filters and it also has this frame that makes a round thing around the picture that I really like and it also has a lot of effects and filters then I have Insta Boca, I think it's called, I'm not sure and this one makes these cute things on the picture you can choose if you want them round or heart shaped or whatever you want and you can also choose the color then I have Facetune, I'm pretty sure this one is not free and with this app you can literally photoshop your picture you can do anything you can whiten your teeth, smooth some parts then I have Deep Pick and Pick Stitch which are two apps that you can use to make collages <laughs> to make a collage then I have Crop that simply crops your picture and then I have Typing that you can use to write on the picture you have different fonts, different colors, etc and then in these two lines I have all the apps with stickers cute stickers and I love these apps I'm gonna show you for example Cutify Me has these super cute stickers for your pictures or I really like Kawaii Photo because it has this one the sushi, the animals super cute and then I have Twigram that can be used to write on the pictures or to create images with quotes Aviary or Aviary, I'm not sure has some cute effects and some stickers the fish eye one is to take pictures with the fish eye effect 8 millimeters makes vintage looking videos and then the next page is the musical page I don't know how many of you know already that I recently bought two ocarinas, actually one was given to me for my birthday and the other one I bought it and I'm really into this instrument so I use these apps when I practice before having an ocarina I downloaded the ocarina app to see if I would like the instrument, how it sounds, how you play it if I can do it, if I really can't do it, I don't like it and stuff like that so if you're curious about the ocarina and you wanna have an idea <laughs> of how you play it I would suggest this app you will have an ocarina like this and it's touch screen so if you put your finger on top of a hole it's like you're closing that hole and then you can blow inside your microphone and it's like you're blowing inside the ocarina and you can play for example and of course the real ocarina sounds way better and it's easier to play 
When I practice, I also use a tuner to make sure I'm doing the right note. And then I also have a piano app. And then I have these two apps, ProCam and Beat Stitch. They're, I believe, are apps to modify pictures on videos, but I've never used them, never. I think it's already two weeks that I have them, but I've never opened them. So I have no idea what's in there. And that's it! I hope you guys liked this video. Unfortunately, I don't remember which apps were for free and which weren't. But I'm gonna leave you in the description box a list of all my apps so you can check them out. And... And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment down below, share it with all of your friends, and see you guys next time. Bye! Mwah. <laughs> Hi again, thank you for watching this video until the very end. Here I'm gonna leave you two more videos, your tweets and follow me on my Facebook page, link in the description box because soon I'm going to start doing Q&A's with a theme. For example, ask me everything you wanna know about hair, ask me everything you wanna know about school, ask me questions about relationships, etc. So follow me on my social networks and see you guys next time. Bye! Mwah.